late summer in Kyrgyzstan's Alai Valley. At an altitude of 3,500 meters and surrounded by the frozen peaks of the Chongalai Range and Alai Mountains, the villages scattered throughout this valley have always been harsh places to live. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, many people lost their jobs and the social support system all but disappeared. Now people mostly raise animals, grazing them around their villages. To provide their animals with fodder during the long winter season, people harvest hay and grow barley. The only other staple crop is potatoes. Such low-priced commodity crops provide them with a very limited income. But due to the weather, their agricultural options are limited and using their scarce resources to experiment with different crops would be risky. So farmers here have stuck to the few options they know. Using her window as a greenhouse, Bunisa Termachikova grows a diverse variety of plants. People in these villages typically do not grow such plants, but Bunisa has a mind of her own and tries to grow all kinds of new crops. She and her husband, Baratbai Tashkulov, use a small piece of their land to experiment with different types of crops. Through trial and error, they found that garlic, onion and dill grow well in the harsh climate of their village. Although they wanted to try and produce garlic at a commercial scale, they didn't have enough money to buy the seeds, and they worried about what would happen if they failed. To develop a garlic growing operation, the family formed a community group with a handful of their neighbors. The group started participating in a research, development and capacity building project of the United Nations University UN Environment Program and Kyrgyz government, backed by the Global Environment Facility. The project on sustainable land management in the high Pamir and Pamir Alai Mountains, known as PALM, supports a variety of innovative micro-projects proposed by the communities and studies their evolution and results. Kutbedin Andarov is a biologist and long-time teacher in the local school. He has seen for himself the worsening conditions of the Alai Valley pastures. Now he teams up with Kyrgyz and international experts to search for solutions to the valley's problems. By finding viable economic alternatives to animal breeding, the Palm Project aims to improve human well-being 
while reducing the need to further increase the numbers of livestock, thereby easing the pressures on the land. With this support, Bunisa and Barapai have started growing garlic on a large part of their land. Garlic sells for a good price in markets, such as here in the regional capital of Osh. From the same amount of land, farmers can earn three times as much money by growing garlic instead of potatoes. In the kitchen, Bunisa and her daughter-in-law use the fruits of their labor and ingenuity to prepare typical dishes. Their greenhouse and agro-diverse fields now provide ingredients that would normally have to be brought from distant regions. Ayaldar üçün, baldar üçün köp vitaminlerge bayık eletiken cemşler, o şunu biz köp köp cem turşuuz gereken. Now by selling their innovative produce to their neighbors and in the market, they can generate income and provide food security for their family and their community. Bizim baldar, nevreler, kelecekteki yaşlar şu bizim kılgan işte kılı uğulap kesseler de ben şunu halayım, şunu dileyim. Aa, uşul sarımsak menen piyazlar da şunu biz kokşak yöndürüp kesseler, bu yerde kulak alasa baldar, yaşlar, bütün atırıp getirdik.